Why do we have a tendency to tell suicidal people that life is beautiful? When I was suicidal, and trying desperately not to be, I sat at my back door, looking out at the sky, the birds etc. And I remember thinking it's so beautiful and I answered myself but it will still be beautiful without me. I think about that sometimes. Thankfully all is well now. Permanent solution to a temporary problem is another one that runs all over me. It's the opposite of helpful. As a person with depression, way I see it, let me die if I want to. If a cancer patient is in pain 27 sevenths, most people understand that person wanting to die. Not in my case, but some people have treatment resistant depression and are in pain 24 7, and that goes on for decades, and most people think the best thing to do for said person is force them to live. It's fucking weird. Same reason that we say that suicidal people are selfish. We think we understand what they're going to even though we really don't even know the start of it. Most people aren't therapists and a lot have never experienced suicidal thoughts. They want to be helpful but don't know what to say. They think about the reasons why they are happy, and realize that a lot of those things may not be appropriate to say to someone who's depressed and suicidal, because they don't have those things, job, home, relationships, health, wealth, etc. So they turn to generic aspects of life and the world around us. It's not meant to be negative or unhelpful. Most of them are actually trying to be supportive. It always interests me when the people left behind always accuse the suicide of selfishness based on the notion that the suicide didn't consider left behind's feelings. Who's selfish? It's not selfish to demand a person in intolerable mental pain to continue so someone else feels better? While I would never encourage someone to end their life I would never judge or blame the choice same reason why most people reply with good or okay when you ask how their day is going. Most people have a pre-programmed socially acceptable answer to things when we want to take the easiest way out. To me life is not beautiful I have severe mental health disorders including bipolar with psychosis. My last attempt ended with me in a coma. My life is periods of depression delusions and hearing voices that no one else can hear. I go to psych hospitals two to three times a year I just wish sometimes I get hit by a car to end it all. Life is hard chaotic scary life is not beautiful. Because people don't know how to talk to suicidal people. Which really is kind of understandable. Not good, but understandable. They parrot the same NPCS clients over and over to make themselves feel better genuine question but what should you say to suicidal people? It's hard to find the proper words in these situations and most people obviously aren't therapists. Not to get too deep here. But I am just thinking about how we experience the world. There's a notion that we pursue things in this world because they are true. Good. Or beautiful. The problem is sometimes the haunting truth is that life is meaningless. Sometimes we find that people are not good to each other. But the beautiful can have the power to give us a sense of wonder outside of the depressing side of life. Assuming they have a will to live. It's because their life has been beautiful to some degree so far. They can't comprehend that someone's life has been nothing but meaningless bullshit day after day. It's a foreign concept to them. They conflate a bad few weeks that they recovered from to someone whose life experience is an unending bombardment of shit with nothing going for them. I was severely depressed and suicidal. Committed for a month. And, life is beautiful, and such didn't help me at all. I knew it was. But it didn't help me when I wasn't able to appreciate it. And didn't see that I ever would be. It's called dysthymia. Fortunately, none of the professionals I encountered tried to convince me with any arguments like that. Or to diminish my experiences. People want to save us but rarely want to put the effort in. Because what else can be said? 
People have this idea in their head that positive thinking is contagious. It's not. There's nothing you can really say besides platitudes because it's an uncomfortable conversation. Happy people have a tendency to be extremely stupid and toxic they'll be like. There's so many reasons to live UWU how dare you take your own beautiful life. Deborah no I don't give a shit about life we're all gonna die let me die sooner than later you dumb. Bitch I don't like it here. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.